Hello again, welcome to me and myself and I practice enunciation for half an hour or so. We are going to Mom's heart, so it shouldn't take us too long, although if we can go further that would be brilliant. Uh, we are going to definitely want to do, that's nice, boss rush. Uh, right off the bat, that's the first thing I'm thinking, boss rush, because Lilith. Lilith, boss rush, great fun, all the enemy, uh, enemies, all the familiars following you around. Such entertaining times. Uh, we'll just leave this floor straight away. Um, in order to facilitate the, the boss rush requirement, racing through earlier floors is probably a valuable idea. Let's we'll try and get rid of these bastards though, because they're going to end up being exactly where I want to be when I need to dodge around monstros shots. So we'll get rid of the, the popcorns here. And if these monstros could sort of synchronise a little bit better, you know, choreograph each other. We do have um, two relics. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's helpful in any way. I'm going to guess it maybe not be. Maybe not be. Good England. Good England speak. Whilst working on my enunciation, I should probably work on the actual words I'm saying as well. Okay, good. Straight down to the first, second floor. First, second floor. Uh, let's see if we can race through this one too. Best rush is imperative, not just because it's great fun, but because we need to somehow compete uh, against everybody else who's playing this, and fuck it. <laughs> uh, we won uh, Spirit Heart anyway, so I think that's the relic paying out. Can you come back? Come here, come on. Bad gas, okay. And infested with an exclamation mark because everyone's very excited by that. Mmm, yes. Jolly good. Ah, the item room is soon. Unfortunately, no key yet. So if this room doesn't drop a key, there's going to be some backtracking going on. Uh, wow, careful. Oh, it did. That's, that's very good. Uh, Bob's rotten head. Eh, I'll pick it up because it's a Bob item. I believe there's a Bob transformation, but I'm not actually convinced that may be just a joke. Oh, there's a fire. Well, that's some dumb damage. We have lost a full HP worth of... I mean, it's not red HP, so it's not that bad, but we've lost a full HP's worth of... Ouch. So far on this second floor. <laughs> you know, it, it's not filling me with confidence. I do like Lilith. Um, despite my original attempt at Lilith being an abortive one, not getting further than the flooded caves one, as far as I remember. That... <sighs> I, I, a sharp intake of breath because every time I see a self-sacrifice room now, I think, wow, we could go a lot further. But not with 2 HP, I'm going to suggest. And now I'm thinking, is it likely that we can recharge Book of book of Friends? Box of Friends before the boss. I'm suggesting no. But you never know. Oh, man, the relic is such a good pickup. We could have. So, in fact, I'm going to use it here. Uh, use the Book of Friends. Try and get rid of as many of these things on the fires as you can, which does involve not extinguishing the fires like a chump. Uh, but we can recharge this immediately with the battery, so we will. Ready for boss? Ready for boss? Three minutes, that's fine. Ooh, burnt penny is fine too. Because having a few extra bombs every time... Well, it does require that we pick up cash. Ooh, this is a good position to stand in. Keep firing like this. It requires that we find a decent quantity of pennies on the ground, but as we do that, we will slowly gain bombs as well. Well, here? This is a good place to be. I quite like Lilith, as I've said before, because your tears can be somewhere completely different from yourself. Uh, I do like Sack Dag as well, and we'll take the range and look. I would like some damage, though. There's only so long we can sustain this palaver. Probably worth doing that mob trap room just for the points if nothing else but there could be some decent uh, consumables in it. I suspect we'll be coming back that way. Yes, we will. Nothing here for us. Only got coins so far. So we can buy something from the shop if we can get to the shop. Uh, we can definitely buy a consumable from the shop and if we're lucky we can buy a half price actual item. But Lilith's uh, strength of the book of, book of friends. Lilith's box of friends strength is also kind of a weakness because you really need to keep hold of your uh, spacebar item as Lilith, which is unfortunate because I don't want to, <laughs> uh, to put it mildly. Put it simply, I want to keep what I've got. Do we want to take this pill? No. Well, it didn't make a difference. Puberty is no effect, it's just visual. But it's just a waste of a pill in the 
pill rotation, I suppose. Not everything can be good, not everything can be bad. Some things are neither. Some things are pure neutral, true neutral pills. Try and get rid of these without them hurting us too much. And the question marks pill is a health upgrade, which is very useful. I think two of hearts at this stage will actually heal me completely, but I, I kind of think why. <laughs> I don't think it's very much very valuable to do that. Uh, I'm using Sack Dagger a lot more. I think I, I've, because I've started to come out of that slump that I found myself in, I can start doing slightly more ballsy play, which using Sack Dagger against these things may count as. Oh, stop fucking spawning. You've got enough HP without having a billion minions to help out as well. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I can't kill it because it's going to explode if I stab it with my sack dagger. But I can't kill it because I can't get through the minions. There we go. Right, I will just take these things out. This is like the longest room on any floor so far. Which I know is not saying. Oh, I still got hit. Purity. Fine. I'll take it. Gives me some stuff. Gives me some HP. Some survivability. Let's try and get rid of these before they spit their bombs at me again. Ow. Just trying to speed up a little bit. This does involve taking some silly risks, but we haven't got very much um, damage. So, Sack Dagger is basically our main damage dealer for a while now. It's going to be. Until we can get some upgrades from uh, a Devil Deal. Or just the boss fight, I suppose. Good. Try not to get Ikipi Cat. Ooh. Ikipi Cat. Also, try not to get them to explode the mushroom next to you and take damage from the resultant poison gas from said mushroom. Which can happen, it has happened. It's killed me on lost runs. Which is not fun at all. And more explodey things, which really it grinds my gears game. Uh, no. Just, just no. <laughs> Use mascara will halve your tier your fire rate, but double your damage, which when you're not hitting as often as you'd like to anyway, because Incubus is kinda hard to deal with in that respect. Uh it's not great. So we need to speed up a little bit, but that's okay. I think we can manage to do that without causing ourselves too much problem. Uh, I really am going to be using Sack Dag a lot though. I'm going in here. You can't stop me. Spear Heart may be worthwhile. Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with our current level of HP. Enough to consider that not having more uh, will we'll be okay. Badly phrased. I just feel like, because we're using Sack Dagger so much, having the bit of extra protection to allow us to fuck it up when we do do that, uh, <laughs> just like that, yeah, well done, is a good idea. The Hollow is not too difficult to fight, I expect, although I do manage to often stand in the wrong place. Fuck it up anyway. This looks like one that will drop money or a battery. Actually, it could be useful for the next floor, I suppose, but I really just want to get a move on here. Tempted to use Sack Dag again. Yeah, that worked. Money, as uh, as anticipated. Did get a deal with the devil. Unfortunately, it's Krampus. Say unfortunately. I think uh, any deal with the devil that turns out to be Krampus is unfortunately, but at the same time, it's a uh, it's an opportunity not to waste HP. <laughs> Doing it anyway. I guess I meant not to spend HP. HP on. Why am I standing here? Look, let's just do this. There we go. Oh, that was awkward. Again, we want to take this, but also I want to not. That was a really bad fight. Um, I got my brain just switched off in the middle of it. I didn't know what I was doing. I don't know how to play this game. What am I even? What is this game? I've never seen it before. Um, yeah, I think I was trying to use Sack Dag, but at the same time not get hit. Which wasn't going to happen because he kept doing this fucking laser thing, and that was a bad position to stand in. But I was kind of committed, if I'm being honest. It'd be nice if Sack Dag sped up a little bit so that it was in a helpful position more often. But uh, I think the fact that we're getting massive payouts out of uh, the the relic here. Oh, we get two Sack Daggers when we use this as well. That's really sweet. Didn't notice that on the Hollow fight. In fact, if I thought about it and expected the Krampus fight, which I kind of did, I wouldn't have used it on the Hollow fight and just got the Krampus fight done that much quicker. Having two uh, sack dags is amazing. Where are you? Here you are. Bit of red HP, not useful. 
Don't really want to play that. Um, I guess a blood bank could be okay. But, um, I mean, what can I hope to get from it, I suppose, is the, the question. More money, but I can't get to the shop. There is a key in here, but I don't think I can reach it. Oh, I can. It's uh, our reward. But I want to use that on the item room, which we will find sooner or later, I'm sure. Before too long, right? Okay. Balls of steel, amazing. Okay, that's going to carry us from all the stupid damage I'm about to take, because I'm going to keep using Sack Dagger, despite my uh, my own advice to myself is not to. Uh, I got hit. I don't like this room. It gets me hit often. Our damage penalty is going to be high, but I'm okay with that. I just want to complete it. I want to get the things that I want to get done, done. I want to feel like I am uh, in the runnings. The cool runnings. Pop you with the sack dag. Again, sack dag is it's really good if you can swing it. Uh, and Because it does a lot of damage. But it does involve some timing that I personally do not seem to have quite nailed down. Uh, maybe some reaction times that I am not currently rolling with. But when you, when you get it right, it really works. So I think it's worth trying to get it right. Because you're never going to get it right if you don't practice getting it right. See? Uh, that was very lucky that I succeeded in that one. Because I tried to guess where it was going to be and nearly failed. Uh, I'm still feeling like I'm shooting from my face. Which, of course, I'm not. I have an incubus doing it for me. Uh, fuck. See, that's why you really want to temper your sack dag expectations. Uh, not really worth. I I'll prefer the bombs. Um, not what I meant. <laughs> not that sort of bombs, you bastard. When you got two of them, of course, it's outstanding. Spiders, you say? See if we can uh, sack dag this bastard. Yeah, we can. Oh, open this. More bombs. The bombs get us into the chests, but then we can't actually open the chests, so I guess it's not as valuable as I thought. Still taking a lot of dumb damage. Not played Lilith for a while, and maybe I should uh, practice that. You, uh, you tend to forget what it's like not being able to shoot from your own face. Uh, but the spirit hearts are really helpful, so... I think um, we're basically in a position where we're going to be kept alive by the relic <laughs> to a great extent and by the luck of finding maybe a few more uh, spirit hearts just randomly in the world I feel like we're losing spirit hearts at approximately a rate of 1 per 4 rooms so we're staying on par you know, we've, got, we've got parity on our HP but I'd rather be getting a profit well we are getting a bit of a profit because we're on 6.5 and, and we were on 4 before but we can't rely on this by any stretch of the imagination and I'm starting to think that maybe Double Relic from the uh, Box of Friends is actually helping us out quite a lot. I think that thing just managed to fire above my dagger and hit me anyway. Quick. Yeah, we did it. No keys, Gromit. Health up. Fine. I will take it. We really need to get a push on, but I want to get into the item room. <laughs> no, I want to get in the item room. Wow, that works. Come on then. Yeah, come on then, I'll have you. Getting cocky. Don't let it get to your head. Dark one. Forgot he did that. That's okay. These things happen. We all make mistakes. Especially me. I'm happy to take the damage at this stage of the game. We've now got another familiar and we can't get to the item room and I'm not going to try. Sorry about that. <laughs> Try to adjust that in post. I won't. Uh, I'm a bit upset that I did actually use up all my keys on that one room earlier on. That was a difficult room as well. What is it with these rooms that are shit and hateful? Oh, God. These things. Try and stab them, I guess. The way they shoot at you is really fucking awkward to avoid sometimes. I assume they have a maximum range on the uh, 
Oh, I stood on that. Well, stand in, stand in the right place to hit it. Whatever. Uh, Joker card. We will keep hold of this. I don't need the other one, really. Oh, dear. I mean, we've got plenty of offensive power, I suppose, when we've used the box of friends once. But, I mean, eh. Our damage is not great on its own. We need to use the box of friends to have any offensive power, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is not a situation I like to find myself in, and still have no keys. It's not a situation I like to find myself in. We do have to deal with the devil precedent, which is a situation I do like to find myself in. So, all is not lost, I suppose. Let's um, try to... Yeah, it turned into a thing and shot me. That's fine. I'm kind of rushing. I'm rushing. Ah. Da, rush. Yes, that worked. Uh, and another one, thank you. We really need to get a push on. We're only on the croppers one at 14 minutes. I may be overestimating how long it will take me to do this, but I'd rather overestimate and get into boss rush than underestimate and miss boss rush completely. You know what I mean? Because boss rush is going to be fun and it's going to be valuable. And it may have a sweet item in it, which I would like to be the case. Thank you for... Staying on the ground. I was going to say, as soon as I said it, you jumped. That was close. Very, very silly. The boss is probably over there on the right on that one I've not visited yet. This shit again. I'm just going to uh, let them hit me. Because having to wait for enemies like this is such a pain in the ass. I'd rather take the damage of, you know, trying to, trying to speed up a little bit. And this fucking room... What a time to get probably one of the slowest rooms on the game. Oh, we need to rush a little bit. Let's take some dumb damage and try and walk into things with our sack dag. Uh, shoot the weepers and no. Well, I guess I was right. <laughs> it's in the stupid place I hate. Still got no keys as well. Game, what are you doing to me? And that awkward transition when you walk through the corner of a, an L-shaped room into the room itself. <sighs> Weird, man. Weird as F. Weird AF. Good. Still no keys. We have our box of friends ready for the boss. Try and get rid of these things in a timely fashion, please. You one key. Could go to the shop. I think I'll just save the key for the item room on the next floor. That seems like a, a good compromise, right? And if we can get to go to the shop on the next floor as well, all the better. But we don't really need too many shop items. The shop doesn't tend to have stuff that is that valuable for us, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Loki is dead, there's no Krampus in here, it's a pentagram and an empty vessel, which will be great if I can sell the rest of my HP. I think you literally have to have zero red HP to make empty vessel work for you. And we've still got a joke card assisting with... Um, we can we can basically, oh, we could use it now actually and get our empty vessel reward straight away. Dark one, I don't want you in here. Leave me alone. The dark one summons thee. Be watching, uh. Watching Once Upon a Time? It's a bit weird. I'm gonna use this now, see if we can sell our. Yes, we can. And I will take this. Thank you, and good night. Now we can fly. Now I don't need to worry about not being able to reach things. I don't need to worry about this room, for example, because it'll only hurt on the way out. That was a good thing to have done. Uh, I think we get maybe other things when we uh, get Call of the Void, isn't it? When we get Empty Vessel as well, but I'm not sure what. But yeah, we can fly now. And we seem to have got a damage upgrade, so maybe that's the other thing. And timing, and good. So we need to find the boss pretty quick. I'd like to give us some time to actually beat the thing. The thing being Mom, of course. Uh, oh, and occasional invincibility, which is super good when we are relying on sack dag so much. There's our item room, which is actually what I was hoping for. Our invincibility was not on at that point, so it was a bit of a misplay, but I didn't get hit. Uh, <laughs> if you don't get hit, you didn't. It wasn't a problem. <gasps> the wafer. Now, the wafer is a really good item, because after the floor that we are currently on, these are the Necropolis 2, Dank Deaths 2, um, all damage is one full heart. The wafer reduces it back down to half a heart. All damage is now half a heart. Which is great. 
because it means we can survive twice as long on the inevitable shit shoot that is the hush fight. Oh, that was great time for that uh, invincibility to proc as well. Oh, where the hell is the boss fight, though? I want to go a little bit faster than we are. So I'm going to take some damage <laughs> on the principle that we'll probably get more back. Oh, jeez. You. Die. Good. Those, I'm really... I'm not intending to walk into them. I'm just not avoiding walking into them. That's an, op that's an option as well, isn't it? We've got so much HP. If we can get a teleport card, that would be an extremely an option. No, thank you. I mean, we'd avoid push as well, which would be brilliant. Hmm. I could play this self-sacrifice room. If this contains a teleport card. It does, but it's not the one I wanted. Okay. Fine. Please be the boss. In this direction. Please be the boss. It is the boss. Good. But this is going to take a while. Oh, God. Uh, I'm not even going to go back for that spirit heart. I really want to get into boss rush. Mom should not last too long. With Sack Dag on our side. Uh, foot, please. Thank you. Mom did not last too long. And we've already seen our deal with the devil, which is good because we didn't open it, but it also means we don't have to leave this room with a joker card to try and get it. Good, boss rush. And Mom's knife is not actually that great with uh, Incubus, so I'm not going to take it in favour of Gemini. And several Gemini at the end of this... <laughs> oh god, I've already been hit. Good job, me. Uh, several Gemini by the end of all of this is going to be stupendous. So, <laughs> let's, see how this, uh, let's see how this works out for us. Mega Fatty is not going down as fast as I'd like. Not as fast as EG, your mama. That was a good time to move. I didn't expect it to be, I just sort of did. Fighting on instincts, like all good warriors. Die, thank you. Ah, and of course the relic will be healing us as we go along, so all the stupid damage I'm going to take will be paid for at least in terms of HP, if not in terms of uh, the, the damage bonus uh, penalty at the end of it all. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility because I picked up the Polaroid, which is great. Every time I get hit, which is a lot apparently, uh, we'll be invincible for a while. Plus we have Empty Vessel, which will make us invincible for a while just at random. And now we have three stack dags, which looks amazing, and I'm kind of reluctant to increase this number just because of how sweet it looks to have three sacrificial daggers orbiting you all the fucking time. But every second wave, we're going to be making another one. I I don't think anyone else has a problem with this, because I certainly fucking don't. There's another one there. Walk into you. Now we've got four of them. Uh, I didn't mean to walk into you. I thought I was invincible a bit longer. It's okay, we got our XP back. Not long for another... Ooh, hello. Another charge. This would be a great time to have a little brimstone. I do like little brimstone uh, with... <laughs> Box of friends, oh my god, it's outrageous. Look at this. We have to keep moving. Oh, we don't have to keep moving. I'm going to say we have to keep moving because of the way uh, the adversary there fires, which is a big long brimstone sort of at you which will basically always hit you because of the way it curves. Yeah, because we have... I think because we've had two relics for four waves, we now get both relics paying out at the same time. <laughs> this is outrageous. We're a little windmill of... In I don't think we can be hit by uh, any bullets anymore. Which is absolutely fine with me. Because we have an impenetrable barrier of knives. We can definitely be hit by Monstro 2, though. So be careful with that. We can definitely be hit by... Uh, famine here walking into us. Oh, we can't pick up any more HP. And we've got, of course, the Wafer. The Wafer. Sign the Wafer. At this stage, I don't think any of the enemies are... going to do a full HP of damage. Um, but... Even with, uh, even without the wafer, but with the wafer, nothing could do a full HP of damage. Everything will be half. So if we do get hit, we still have to get hit twice before anything here is going to be a problem to us. But we need to make sure we don't get too complacent. It's very easy to get complacent at this point because as soon as we walk out of this room, we're not going to have any of these amazing things left over. We're going to back to one of everything, and we're not going to be able to come back and get our. Uh, 
HP that we left behind. Look at this trail of friends that we've got. It's impossible not to hit. Because there's just so much stuff on the screen at once. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, come on then. Come and have a goal if you think you're hard enough. Uh, what have we got here? No. That was nearly a hit. Obviously, uh, Gisha can stomp on us. Don't want that to happen. Let's have some more friends. Uh, and Brimstone and Zax are we're still vulnerable to those, but there aren't any left, I think. We got rid of everything that's going to Brimstone us. <laughs> Just shoot in this direction. He's over there somewhere, it'll do. Yeah, good. Sarsis. Oh, there's another one. What are you doing? Good. And we got Libra. That's interesting. I think I'll take it. Uh, it sped us up a bit. Our damage has gone down by the looks of things. Let's go into this floor. We'll see if we can hold the Joker card until... I guess we're going to the Cathedral... Oh no, we're only going to Mom's Heart anyway, so... Uh, yeah, we'll be alright. We'll take the Joker card on the first floor where we don't have a uh, Devil. Which I'm assuming will be this one. Our, our damage is okay, actually. Um, oh, I should use Box of Friends so I've got two daggers. I'm assuming this will be our floor where we don't have a deal with the devil. Well, that, oh, we didn't get one on the last floor. And we do have the pentagram, so there's a good chance that we do get a deal with the devil. And on the next floor, of course, we don't need a deal with the devil because we're not going any further unless we can find a self-sacrifice room, which is actually possible now I think about it, so I should probably hold off on judgement. If we find a self-sacrifice on this floor, we will do it. Oh, there's more, is there? Alright then. Can we already fight you? Uh, we can keep an eye out for the compass effects. Oh, we were invincible and I didn't even notice because I was too busy watching the, uh, the order of play over there. I was lucky. Stars. Uh, no, it's not what I thought it was. Unfortunately, I confused it with the sun. I thought, oh, we'll see where we're going. Nope, we will not. Play Joker card, go down here. There is a self-sacrifice room. So we'll definitely play that. Try and get to the uh, lamb fight and give ourselves that little bit extra uh, of, a, of a bonus, a points bonus. Somehow that hit me. Let's just pretend it didn't. I mean, hush is important too, but I really don't like doing the hush fight. Um, and I think the point bonus for travelling further... Come on now. Will outweigh the point bonus that we miss on Hush. We have to <laughs> leave every single time because we get permanent polar and fucking invincibility. But note that we only use half a heart for each one of these, so we've got plenty of opportunity to play this. It's going to hurt our damage bonus considerably. But that's fine. I'll let those blow up whilst I'm invincible. Good idea. Right, here we go. We've got an uh, angel. Uh, at Angel. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I I learned how to use the word an in primary school. I just choose not to. One key piece. The key pieces probably aren't going to matter to us because um, the, the door's not going to be available when we get to the dark room. What is important is that we're going to be in the dark room. Uh, no close. Good. I'm trying to do damage with Sack Dag again, because... I mean, our tears are not really anything to write home about. Uh, I suppose the Binding of Isaac is, in general, not something to write home about. Depends on who your mum is. Or, you know, depends on who's at home. Let's put it that way. Okay, good. And then one more... Takes us to the dark room. Right, this should be interesting. I've not done this on the daily before. I've not done this on camera. So you can see there's no door there. Uh, no, thank you. Okay. No, no. Guppy item, fine. I'll take it. Uh, we'll use the joke card. In fact, I've forgotten we had it. Uh, it's very risky. Okay, fine. But only because I have uh, the box of friends available for this floor. <laughs> it's pretty much my entire rationale for that. Is that box of friends is available right now, which means this room is going to be a little bit easier. Hopefully, Dark Bone will actually be valuable for us because that was a. I am Denard, as you can tell. Uh, no. Because I wasn't sure whether Dark Bum would really benefit us. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, good. Go, 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 go. Invincibility time. We have managed to maintain our... Oh, perfect. Ah. Uh, the... What's this item called that gives us this? Empty vessel. We're still an empty vessel. Uh, that was really bad. But we have permanent polar invincibility, so we'll take you apart and you apart. Oh, didn't quite work. Um... By maintaining empty vessel, we can still fly and we still get the occasional random invincibility, which is nice. I don't really want to pick all those up. I don't really want to pick that up at all, if I can avoid it. Thank you. Uh, so, random occasional invincibility is going to be super helpful to get rid of rooms with awkward enemies on. That was perfect timing. I don't know if you saw what just happened. I hope you did. <laughs> invincibility popped at the moment when I thought I was definitely going to die. So there's that. Well, not dying, but you know, get hit. I think that one just took those out. I appreciate it when enemies beat the shit out of each other. Good. And we're not in any rush anymore because we're not aiming at hush. But I would like to finish this before I go to bed. Um. So. Oh, jeez. Stop getting hit. That was a good idea, right? The stars. Again, don't really need that. Hmm. This is probably an awkward room as well. We do have invincibility again, so we should make the most of that, I suppose. Try not to make too many spiders, but at the same time, you know, who cares? Just get it done. Not seen any red hearts drop either, so Dark Bomb may not have been the best of ideas for us. Don't mind. Okay. We weren't to know. Probably could have guessed, but I wasn't to know. Like, in hindsight, it's pretty obvious Dark Bomb's not going to be much use on Dark Room. There's one half. <laughs> so he's primed, he's ready to go. I will use this here, because brandy can be a bit difficult, and having a double rate of fire to deal with all the riffraff that ends up on the screen is going to be valuable. And just get rid of this thing a little bit quicker as well. Oh, we have our invincibility. So you don't notice your invincibility mostly, because you, you're not looking at you, you're looking at the enemy you're shooting. So it's very easy to miss it. Maybe I should be looking at me. I wonder what the pros do. Maybe they just look around in different places. That would make sense. Uh, help. <laughs> this is not a room... Oh, that was bad. It's not a room you can use sack tag on. This happens a lot, have you noticed? Keep, uh, keep finding myself in a position where I'm doing really well. And then the very last shot on the screen hits me. It's like calligraphy. You can do really well at calligraphy. You know, proper... Um, Proper writing of really good script, like the monks used to do. And you do the whole page really, really well. Oh, jeez. Help me. And then all of a sudden, very last sentence, you fuck it up. Because you're like, yeah, I've nearly finished. And then you get a bit complacent, you start to rush. You think you're doing okay, and you're not. Anyway. Let's fight the lamb and get the fuck out of here. This could go wrong. Uh, we've only got 2 HP and the lamb is a difficult boss. Fairly difficult boss, anyway. Oh, invincibility, get in there. So as long as we've got invincibility, we will definitely be sack dagging the shit out of the lamb. Hopefully, literally, the shit out of the lamb. Oh, we've got 4 HP, I guess. So we can get hit a couple more times. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, though. Although, <laughs> having said that, the invincibility I got from intentionally getting hit just now has, in fact, allowed me to... Sack dag the lamb. Just need to beat the body, which is causing a lot of stuff to happen. But uh, oh, we're done. And the music didn't change, so screw you, music, I guess. Well, thanks for watching. We got thirty-two thousand, which puts us seventy-first. Oh my god, that's the same rank I got with that lost run that went really, really well. That was super good. I'm extremely pleased with that. So uh, I am. I so much enjoyed myself just now. <gasps> Be still, my aching heart. Aching heart. Beating heart. Anyway, let's see who else is nearby us. Oh, lagged out. Oh well, thank you for watching. I had a, a lot of fun on that run with stupid dodges and sack dagger plays. Uh, but I think we did really well, so thank you for watching. Thank me for playing. Come back tomorrow where we will be 7,000th.